Hey everybody, here's another video about the Jeep Grand Cherokee and today is going to be about the um, oil pressure sending unit and it looks like I got a check engine light on I believe that's for a um, P0441 which is more or less in, insufficient purge or whatever it's called I've replaced the purge valve solenoid, replaced the gas cap check engine light goes on and goes off matter of fact it stayed off for about 600 miles last time it was off but basically you notice Take a look at the oil pressure gauge. It shows it's running right under 40 psi, and the engine is is fully warmed up. And um, as I mentioned, it's, it says it's holding about 35 psi. But later on, what will happen is it will actually go down to on the gauge, go down to 20 psi. And sometimes it takes a while to go back up. Now, of course, if you have close listen to the engine. No unusual noises whatsoever. No unusual ticks. All you hear, the only noise you hear is the lifters, actually. And if you're curious what oil I run, I run 50 50 uh, synthetic, non synthetic. Let's see if I can find a jug of it so you can see. Um, Castrol GTX, high mileage. It's this stuff here, which is still a little bit of oil left in it, too. It's a 10W30 part synthetic motor oil. That's why I run. Been running it for years. But notice how the gauge is still showing um, runner into 40. What I'll do is I'll wait till it starts to change down to 20. But the funny thing is, is when it makes that transition, it goes up and goes down, goes up and goes down, goes up and goes down. Like it can't make up its mind what it wants to do. And it seems after I replace the thermostat on this thing, it doesn't do it as early because the old thermostat was opening at like, I don't know, 210. This one here opens at 195 like it's supposed to. And of course, I'm just sitting here keeping an eye on things because I just um, replaced, well, I actually redone the thermostat housing again because the first time I did it, it had a small leak. There it goes, it's starting to go down just a little bit. See how it's starting to fluctuate just a little bit? Get you good focus. Seriously believe it's a sending unit. It's shown its behavior ever since I've had this thing. Which I've had this thing for three years. One thing, turn the air conditioner on. It's hot out here. There it goes, watch it. It's right over 30 right now. Excuse are shaking in the camera. I tell you what, AC sure does feel good when it's 94 degrees outside. And step out again, check for leaks. I just replaced my thermostat housing. Well, redone it like I mentioned. any water that's a good sign Ford Explorer fan clutch is working absolutely wonderful yeah this might make out to be a pretty long video It's like when the oil pressure gets down to a certain threshold, I'd say about 30 PSI, which is I guess about the normal idle oil pressure for a warmed up engine. The gauge starts going back and forth between 
20 and 30 which 20 on this gauge is the first it's the first quarter way mark I'm shutting this door it's hot out there You know, it's real funny how it's not doing it yet. Notice how it went back up just a little bit. But basically what it will do is you'll see the needle go back and forth between the first quarter mark and about where it is right now. And it does it pretty rapidly not very very fast but it is swing back and forth between that mark this one gives some gas that goes up to 40. get about bored sitting here but I want to sit here and wait for it to do it because I know it will do it it's setting on a little over 30 psi you know to be honest I'm real surprised it hasn't done it yet as hot as it is out here I can mention it's a hot one in here today. I think it's about to start, goes. It's starting to do it. It's starting to drop down just a little bit. Notice how it swings back and forth. I'm trying to keep my camera as still as possible here. sitting on 20 and goes up a little bit it never goes below 20 which I give a little gas that's how it goes up again and it goes back to 30 and then drops down to 20 Now, of course, oil pressure sending units are not that expensive. But I was curious if that if these symptoms here are a possible bad um, oil pressure sending unit. So anyways, feel free to give me your input.